Welcome back. Okay, so now I've removed all the screws and popped all the clips. So now we just gently take the car apart. The door panel. Probably should have a cameraman for this because it's a three-handed job. But we'll do what we got to do as best we can do it. Now these I've removed already but placed it back in place so you could see almost see Look. so now those plugs control the seat and the window and the lock which we hear that was the first one the middle one and then that one which is the lock lock seat windows okay now Pull off the panel. Pull out and lift up. Let's see if we can't do this. Okay, the camera was off. So I don't know what I recorded. I have no clue where I left you off. So I'll pick up from here. I've pulled the door panel off, removed the screws, pulled the clips. These clips, remember they need to stay in the door. This is the back of the door panel. I have one broken clip right here, and I'm missing one clip right there. So the broken one goes on this side, I'll try to find a replacement, and I'll have to pull that from there, put it back in the door. But let's focus on the actual door handle. Now the door handle needs to be replaced, because remember, um, your brother broke it. So I couldn't find a Cadillac, an 85 Cadillac, handle that I was able to find an aftermarket 85 Oldsmobile Touring Auto handle. Now the handle itself is shaped differently but the mounting bracket is exactly the same. So if it lines up to my door panel I'll replace it. If it doesn't I'll have to wait and find a Cadillac one. Put everything back together. But I need to rivet this out. But before I rivet it out I want to really line it up see if it matches. If it does then I'll pop the rivet and replace it, put everything back together. So stand by, let's see if this thing does line up. Okay, turns out it won't work, and I'll show you why. If you line them up, r rivet hole to rivet hole, you probably can see the Tornado handle is lower than the Cadillac handle. Let's back up. See the Tornado? and the Cadillac is sitting above it, right in there. Which means, if I did mount it, and I went to go put this plate back on, the Toronado handle would probably hit the lower portion of that plastic plate, and this plate wouldn't be able to fit. It could possibly even hit the door panel, it's so low. So I can't use this handle, unfortunately, I'll have to return it and start again. So until next time, Daz Garage, I'll see you again.